Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey, if you're new to my channel or you've been here before and you haven't done it already, please go down there, consider subscribing to the channel. Also hit everything on here, man. Hit the bell, make sure you like, make sure you share the video if you, you know, anybody else that you know needs this kind of content. It really, really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and everything else. Also, you need to follow me on here. Yes, that's my Instagram. I know when you get on there, it's gonna be a little different because you know I react to music on my other channel, so there's a lot of there's a lot of like reacting, you know, music content. But um, I promise, if you DM me a question or DM me something, I will gladly answer you. You know, I have a lot of people that you know um, reach out to me. You know, here's a few. Here's one, um, and uh, here's another one. You know, just small people that come on my channel or on my DMs and ask me questions and, you know, just are very grateful for the information I give you guys. And like I said before, I do it from my heart. I do it because I want to teach you guys. Not teach you, but I want to lead you in the right direction. I want you to, I want you to pick the proper career for you, um, not just for right now, but for the future as well. You know, so make sure to, like I said, all the, all the works on here, man, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff will be greatly appreciated. So today, I wanna to give you um, three pros and three cons on becoming a radiology technologist. Uh, some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, we knew that. Some of you guys are gonna be like, oh, you know, I didn't know that, you know, so. But it's cool because a lot of people don't understand what they're getting themselves into whenever they pick a career. They're just like, oh, it looks cool. I wanna go for nursing because they make good money or I want to go for nursing because they drive nice cars or whatever the case may be. Or I want to be a nurse, I want to become a nurse because they make so much money traveling, I heard, you know, type of thing. Or same thing for radiology, I want to be a radiology tech because, you know, I heard they make good money and you all you do is press a button, <laughs> you know, like things like that. There's so much more to it, guys, that you have no idea until you reach out to people, reach out to people like me, or there's a lot of other content creators here on YouTube that talk about radiology and, and they'll give you the, I'm guessing they'll give you the, as they say, you know, they keep it real and they'll probably give you the real information that happens on a day to day. They just, they just don't give you the, oh, the good stuff and they won't, they won't share the bad stuff. Uh, there's a lot of people out there that do that too, you know, and that's just, it's just not me. I'm, I'm gonna keep it 100 as they say. Anyway, so uh, I don't know if I should start with cons or pros first. I'm not sure. But let's just go with cons, right? Let's go with cons because everybody wants to hear the bad news first and the good news second, right? So the first con will be this. Yeah, it's physically demanding. It is because, especially right now in days, uh, I think it started after COVID, 2022, 2021, um, and I'm guessing beyond, there's gonna be a shortage of text. It is, so it's gonna be physically demanding. You know, when I say that, it's like, you know, back in the day when you went and did portables, say you had a stack of portables. Portables are x-rays, whether it's a chest, hand, whatever, it don't matter. Portables are, you take the machine and you go do portables, right? That's what I mean by portables. So, back then you have like 15 to 20 portables to go do, and you always had another tech with you, always. You know, because you don't know what kind, you don't know what you're gonna encounter when you into a room. You know, some pe some patients are easy, they move easy, and then, you know, oh yeah, you can put a plate behind my back, a cassette, take an x-ray. Some people, you need four hands. You know, they some are so heavy and so dead weight, you gotta like pull, place a cassette behind them, or whatever the case may be, and it gets tough, so you need help. So now, you know, with the shortage everywhere, it is demanding, it is physically demanding even more now than it was before because of the shortage. You know, and uh, that's something that people don't think about when they pick a career. They're like, oh, it's just x-ray, we just push a button, blah, 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 and it's, it's not always that easy. So it's very physically demanding. Now, the second con, which is this. You guessed it, super stressful. It is, it is. And it also depends what time of the day it is. It also depends where you work. But stress is coming along in any healthcare field. And honestly, it doesn't matter what you choose in this time, whether it's RN, radiology, physical therapy, dental assistant, whatever the case may be, everything right now is super stressful. Um, you know, like I said, due to the fact of short staff, it's stress because, you know, a, a lot of it is, it is short staffed, you know, and um, because of the fact that 
you have so many exams that are ordered um, and they all have to get done regardless of the situation uh, it has to get done you know and what I mean by that is that sometimes you know you have patients that have to come down to the department and you know you have hard exams that take time you know when you have like small bowel follow-throughs or you have lumbar punctures or sometimes the OR goes crazy and you need like two sometimes three x-ray techs in the OR running a c-arm to do um to do cases with the surgeons for surgery that's stressful man it's stressful because it puts such a such a hard toll on your department and everybody becomes agitated everybody becomes stressed out and it's like do i really want to go to work if i'm stressed you know that's that's a biggie you know becoming stressed it's a, it's a big part of it um the third one i would say would probably be and this i guess is really not a con but it's a con if you don't know what you're getting yourself into right so the third one I will say is this one yeah I've talked about it so many times and I think this is the one thing that really you know I don't think people really understand is the shifts that you have to work yes some people are, are good at, at evening shift 2 to 11 it's not bad you go home on time you sleep your body knows it's gonna sleep so are you kind of like well, not waste but are you kind of lose out on is the evening shift evening time you know whether you have kids you're taking a baseball this, this you know that you know so you miss out on that that's a hard shift but it's doable overnight shift a lot of people don't think about that oh i can do overnight i can do overnight until you work it for like two or three days and you're like man this is tough you know because uh, when you become an overnight tech you are 99.9 percent .9 by yourself no help so that means that any computer issues that happen it's on you if a multiple comes in in an er and there's like five or six patients that need multiple x-rays it's on you you know and 99 percent of the time when there there is an x-ray tech on call it's usually for or cases only not for general x-ray um now there's all those exceptions sometimes but like, oh if i have 10 patients behind i need help then yeah, you can call a tech in, but then you, on the other hand, might be might be labeled as a liability um, as far as a person that can't handle their own, and then they'll look at you differently, and you know, then it might make it a little tough on you. You know, um, they throw you in the wolves, man. You know, the overnight shift is not a shift to play with if you don't know what you're doing. Um, and then, you know, the fact of being on call. A lot of techs, don't, a lot of people don't even understand that when they pick a career. They're like, what is, oh, I can, it's not bad. I'm going to go work and then go home and, you know, who cares if I'm on call until you get called in. That is tough, you know. You, you, the, you Let's think about this, guys, right? You're at, you're at work. Say you work a, your usual shift or just like a normal shift, 7 to 3.30, right? You have one of those days that you have a whole bunch of floral cases that you did, VEs, small bowels, esophagrams, and then you were the only you and another tech was the only one there. So they sent you to go do OR. So you have to go up there and now you have to deal with the surgeons that can be a little tough at times. Then you have to, you know, deal with the C arm. And then, you know, when you come back down, it's barely two o'clock and you just have an hour and a half. They send you to the ER because they don't have nobody else. You go to the ER, you know how the ER is. The ER just, it just jumps all day, just jumps, jumps, jumps. It's always busy because everybody that comes to the ER gets an x-ray, no matter what. A chest x-ray is gonna come regardless. It's just the way it is, it's practice, right? You go home and you're like, oh, it's my day to be on call. You go home, you're already tired. You take a shower, nice little shower. You put your pajamas on, you chill with your husband and your wife or your kids and all of a sudden, hey, we need you to come back in today or what about? That is annoying. That is hard, you know, and I'm not saying every hospital does that, but 90% of hospitals do that because of the shortages, because nobody wants to work overnight, because it's just one of those times that we're living in right now. It's tough. So, yes, shifts are tough to cover. Shifts are hard. Right now, like I said, there's so many travel techs. There's so many local hospital positions open due to the fact that people are traveling more because... I mean, that's for another video, but you know, you know how it is. So those are the cons. Now, pros. Okay. So the first pro is this one. You guessed it. Job security. You know, and the end of the day, if you go to go, if you're gonna pick a career, you want to pick a career that is in demand. And right now, 
everything is in demand. I ain't gonna lie to you. When I when I first started radiology twelve years ago, I had a beg for a job. I was like, please, can I work here? PRN. I don't care if I work once a week. Blah blah. I just need a job. Now, man, you have so many people calling you like, hey, I can. I need a job here. Hey, we need text here. Hey, we need text here. Hey, we need text. Like, there's so many positions open. You guys are so blessed if y'all pick a career right now because jobs have just been just thrown at you. You know, not back in my day when I started, it wasn't like that. But job security is something that you will have for a very long time. Um, so that that's that's a pro already, you know, knowing that you always have income coming in, knowing if you want to get overtime, overtime is there, you know, it's, it's definitely a pro. The second pro, which is this, it's not bad, you know, um, and it's job sa job salary, you know, your your compensation, how much you get paid. Um, and of course, it varies on, you know, experience, it varies on location, it varies on, you know, so many things, right? Um, but you do get paid decent. Uh, I live in Florida, so in Florida, you, as a as an x-ray tech, you probably start off between 28 and 30, 31 maybe an hour, which is a lot of money compared to, you know, most people that go into a career, this is their first career, so they don't know any better, you know, they've probably been making 15, 16, 17 their whole life, so to make 28 to 30 is a big deal, it's a big jump, so that's the salary you'll, you'll kind of expect in Florida, um, so that's not bad. Uh, the pros, the third pro, the third pro about being an x-ray tech is this. Yeah, I know it sounds a little like mean, but not, you know, especially if an introvert, if you're an introvert person, this is kind of perfect for you because uh, for most part, um, not all the time, but 80% of our job is you work, we're with the patient for five minutes or less. Honestly, that's it. An x-ray of your chest literally takes like one minute. You go in there and be like, hey, my name is so-and-so. Um, can I get your full name, date of birth? They'll tell you. They're like, okay, you know, the doctor ordered a chest x-ray one view. Um, it'll be really quick. You're going to get a cold plate behind your back. You know, shoot. Thank you for your time. Have a blessed day. That's it. Literally, that's all you do for a chest x-ray. But you're with the patient less than five minutes, sometimes one minute, two minutes. Um, if you're in the ER and if you're doing portables. Now, if you're in the OR and you're with the, you know, surgery and stuff, that can take hours and it can take half an hour to hours. It's just the way that it depends what kind of case you're in. Um, if you're doing floral, as far as the BE, uh, sophogram, small bowel, small bowel usually takes two hours because you have to take um, x-rays of the abdomen, make sure the barium is going through the intestines properly. Um, that can take between an hour, sometimes they're fast, sometimes they're not, sometimes it takes four hours. So, you know, that's one of those things. But for the most part, 80% of the part, 80% of the time, you're not with the patient for too long, you know? So that's a, that's a pro, you know? Especially, like I said, if you're an introvert, you don't wanna be around people too long, you just do your thing, it's, it, it's pretty cool. So anyway, guys, this is the pros and cons of radiology tech. I hope this helped you. I hope that you stay to the end. If y'all did, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, again, guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting.